Hello everybody, welcome back to IGCSE ICT with me. And in this video, I'll be focusing on the October, November 2023 paper tree. All right, so in this video, we'll be focusing on task three, question eight. Now it asks us to display the web page in our browser, and then we're going to take a screenshot evidence and place this in the evidence document. Now it says, make sure that all the page can be seen and all the text can be easily read and the address bar is fully visible. And we're going to make sure that these criteria should be done. All right. Before we do this question, I just want to give you guys a heads up whenever you do Microsoft Expression Web 4. Because uh, in the beginning, when we try to do all the designs in Microsoft Expression Web, we have all of these elements right here in the design page, and we want to make sure that the table looks nice. So henceforth, when we created the table, this table was given a style of 100% because when we insert the table in the beginning, like for example, table, insert table at the beginning of the question, we have ensured that we specify the width in percent, but the question didn't ask us to put that there. There's no inline style that we had to put for the table. So before you do that, make sure you go ahead and remove that. Okay and remove that code so that the inline style will not affect the CSS that we placed uh, previously. So when we do that, go ahead and save and then ensure that all of the pages should be correctly. Then go on the top left, select preview and browser, browse it in every of your favorite ones. Mine's Google Chrome. And you can see that this will be the entire page of your Tarawa Giraffe Sanctuary. Now that little logo is going to be very huge because it asks us to put the inline style that is with 100% for the image, but the rest it should be fine. Now, if you do not, if you do not, let's say for example, uh, forgotten to remove this style with 100%, I'm just going to go ahead and save and preview this one more time. You can see that this entire table will be placed all the way to the edge of the browser because this is the inline style that we feel 100% of the web page. So please remember to remove this so that you will have the CSS table uh, correctly been designed because you want it to be following the table border of margin left and right and you want the table to fill only 85 percent of the table all right so go ahead make sure you check every single code before you screenshot and then i'm just going to go ahead and save this one more time and then preview it and this will be the final product of the entire css uh, entire website that needs to be so well, ensuring that everything is looking all right, everything one page, the snipping tool, visually I'm showing this, you can actually use the, the keyboard shortcut if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a new screenshot, ensuring that I screenshot from the top and then um, showing the whole entire page and then voila then it will ask me whether or not i'm just going to select copy and then i paste it in the evidence document this is step eight so i'm going to type this as step eight evidence tree this was evidence two and this was uh, step one evidence one so i place right here an evidence tree step eight and then you can see this is a Tarawa picture that I place. And then let's head back to the question. The question then asks us to display the HTML source in your editor. Take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So this is very easy. Just select the whole entire thing over in the HTML code, copy this, and then you place them inside your evidence folder. This is required. Step eight, evidence four, and then place your HTML code. 
Now, some examiners want you to make everything look way neater and nicer. You can and ensure the whole thing looks neat, no extra spaces so that the printing looks nice. Now, I don't want this to be split into two pages. I'm going to ensure this whole entire HTML has its own page and it prints out nicely for the examiner to look at. Now, this is making sure that everything looks nice before you print out. You have step three, step two, all nicely placed. And then that's it for the question. I'll still have extra spaces, making sure everything doesn't have extra space. And then that should be fine. And for this eight mark, we have the correct in browser view address and no letters visible. So that's it for our mark scheme. All right. If I hope this video helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.